Hello and welcome to another episode of Wings of Change. Those of you young and young at heart, do not forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I am bringing to you the real life stories of my students who are on a journey of discovering themselves, of discovering their passion and doing something really unique. Today, I have a young girl with me. One who had the problem of always being good at what she does. She was good at painting. In studies, of course, loved reading books and always drawing something at the back. Now, this girl had this problem that she didn't know what her passion is and how to follow it. Today, there are many children out there who do not know what to do with what they are good at. They feel that there is no scope out there. This is a very interesting story of a very sweet young girl. One of my favorite students, Nikita Mankar. Nikita, well. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for inviting me to do this. It's always a pleasure talking to you. So, Nikita, let me start with what are you doing at present? Okay. So, I am a user experience designer as well as a visual designer. I'm also a nutrition and fitness coach. And I also freelance as a graphic designer. Wow. So you are doing a lot of things. Let me ask you something. Are you happy? Yes, I am very happy. (laughs) Because doing three things is not easy. So you are happy doing all the three things. The question comes, how and why? How are you happy managing three things? And why are you so happy? So let us go a little back. Tell me something about your 10th standard. What did you dream of becoming when you were in the 10th standard? All right. So when I was in 10th standard, I really thought that people did engineering or they became a doctor and then that's how their life was settled. And that's what I did. I studied for engineering entrances and I got into one of engineering colleges and I did my graduation in electronics and telecommunication. Okay. During your school life, you loved painting. Did you ever think that this can become a career option for you? Honestly, no. I thought that this could be more of a hobby or something that I did on the side. But I never thought or dreamt that it would actually, you know, make me financially stable or I could make a career out of it. So making a career was engineering was the option. You did, then you definitely joined a job? Yes. What was the experience? So when I was in my final semester, I got placed in a big MNC and um, it was a software engineer's job and I joined that job. So you were very happy in that job? No, I was not happy. I was not happy because I was not able to do things there. So whatever was expected out of me, I felt like I lagged somewhere. And mostly everybody kept saying that you are, it's just the beginning. You will learn. Everybody learns. Everybody can code. So I used to think that, okay, maybe it's just a matter of time. But that sinking feeling never went away. So I used to always feel like, like very heavy hearted to go to the office and, you know, to sit on that screen and not knowing what to do. Mm-hmm. So I was not happy. So one thing, Nikita, the job was paying you well. You could yeah. pay your bills. Yes. Okay. So after doing a graduation, which you thought will help you settle in, so-called settle in life. Yeah. You had a job, you had the money, but you didn't have that happiness. Happiness. You didn't have happiness. Now, next, what step did you take? Because this is very important. Many of them, they do something, they went Mm -hmm. go for a job and then they realize they are not good at it or they don't feel happy going every day to uh, the office. So what is the next step that you took? So when I was in that MNC, I was 22 or 23 years old Mm -hmm. and I thought that I should at least utilize this time and money that I have now and the independence. I was living in a city. So Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe I should make use of these resources and learn as much as possible. So I also Mm -hmm. created 
one art account which is called as Nikita Doodles on Instagram. I started okay. posting my artwork there, and okay. I started freelancing. So I did a lot of things at that time. Mm-hmm. To get to uh, just basically, you felt that was one thing which you were good at, you loved, and uh, Instagram account gave you that freedom to keep on posting. And if someone wanted, they can contact you, and you could do some freelancing for them. That was yes. one step which you had taken. What was yes. the second step that you took? The second step was uh, so. So this all happened quite simultaneously. So when I made that art account, um, my boyfriend at that time, who is my husband now, so he was always into fitness. So mm-hmm. he introduced me to this person who was going to open up his own startup um, called a Sports. So it was a mm-hmm. platform. It was an online platform to help get people fit. So that was okay. their goal. So mm-hmm. we had a meeting with them, and he saw my artwork online, and he was like, "Hey, will you freelance for me?" And okay. back then, I did not even know that okay, you could like freelance and stuff, especially like you know when you're already working. So I was yeah. Like, okay, like okay, why not? And I I joined them. I started making comics for them, illustrations for them, their posters. I was like quite involved in the process. And in order to make those things, I had to also learn nutrition. I had to learn about fitness, and I always loved biology. So I thought, mm-hmm. hey, why not? So so that's how two career paths came out of it. So one mm-hmm. is that yeah, I studied the whole material. I gave the entrances. I passed the interview, and I became a nutrition and fitness coach with them. And at the mm-hmm. same time, I realized that in this field, like what I am doing, I'm illustrating, I'm making posters. In a creative field, I could actually flourish well, and I could actually make money out of it. So that gave me an added advantage to just come out of the situation of the MNC, and I quit the job. I started working with this company called. Okay. Also started taking so freelance orders. Yeah. So I started preparing for trying. Okay. Now here is an engineer, qualified, having a job, not liking it actually, and since you were very good right from your school days, when you reached a position where you couldn't do well or you couldn't do what you felt was your uh, standard, is the time when you took a good look at yourself and started freelancing. Having an account, doing something in the direction in which gave you pleasure, which made you happy. Now, through that, you got into the squats journey, and you became yes. a certified nutritionist and fitness coach. So, are you into fitness right now? Yes, I am. So, it's been three or four years now. Four years actually with them. Mm-hmm. And um, the, like I always say, everybody is beginner at fitness. And I mean, I used to think that I, I who never played sports, how could I be in this field? But it's not. It's not like that. Everybody is a beginner, and you have to begin somewhere. So mm-hmm. yes, I'm still into it. Okay, so you are a certified fitness coach right now. Yeah. Uh, anyone who wants to contact Nikita, I will be giving the description below. You can go and check on. And help, take help from her to become fitter. So, what did this fitness journey give you? It gave me, first of all, it gave me a very disciplined way of living. So, we used to wake up, make food, go to the gym, go to the office, come back, and do all the freelance work. Then again, if I had something to do with regards to my office, I used to do that. So, a lot of things were juggled at the same time, and it gave me that balance, like you know, to juggle these things. So it gave me that a disciplined life. Discipline, discipline. Yes. You learned discipline because yes. at that point of time you were juggling both your job and your fitness journey. And the first step is cooking food. You had yeah. to cook by yourself. Okay, so you started cooking. You started being disciplined. Mm-hmm. You could manage those twenty-four hours so well that all the work got completed during. Whatever you had planned out for the day, because that was important. Yes. What else? What else did it give you? It gave me a lot of confidence. So during my engineering years and during my job, I I like hit a very rock bottom, uh, you could say, in terms mm-hmm. of confidence because uh, being uh, when I was a student in tenth and tenth or in my school life, I was good at everything and I used to have that confidence that okay, I can do everything. And then mm-hmm. I come to a job where I don't know anything about it, so I was like very low in confidence and everything. Mm-hmm. So it really helped me gain confidence. 
Mm-hmm. So one thing is that whenever you are at something which you are not good at, it brings down your self confidence. It brings down. So this journey gave you that self confidence. You had your confidence back. You already had it, but somewhere down during those years, it had gone down, and you yeah. regained it. You regained. So discipline is one thing. and then is your uh, confidence anything else no i think okay. that's that's and oh yeah also like it really helped me help others which was quite a good thing so mm-hmm. i trained almost uh, 650 people by now so wow. i have helped shape their really? lives in a way so okay. it's nice it's a nice okay. yeah and uh, this journey this journey is not only for yourself it is for others also you are helping others and one thing i should add definitely your instagram pictures look very beautiful because when you are great <laughs> when you are confident when you are disciplined that shows when you are working so all your instagram pictures all your marriage pictures everything <laughs> looks absolutely gorgeous i must say that so that was the result of all the hard work that you had put in and all the effort that you had taken all the discipline that you had put in so that is one part of your journey it is very fascinating to see my uh, children those who have gone out juggling different things juggling it so well so well so that is one part of your journey when did your second part of your journey start so like i mentioned you know i was freelancing for this company uh, before so i realized that okay i could do much better in a creative field than sit in a box and code it was not me so i started researching a lot about which colleges offered what courses and being an engineer what was my scope in that field and i realized that there are there are actually good colleges in india which offer courses and they they don't have any prerequisites like you should have an art degree or something like that mm-hmm. so even engineering degree you could take an admission and do your post graduation in a particular course so i chose mm-hmm. graphic design but there are other courses like interior design furniture design jewelry design apparel design a no. lot of courses yes so if someone is creative there is a whole world out there even if you have done graduation in some other stream you can pick one of the post graduations and go for it if you feel that is your passion if you feel that is if you are very creative and uh, yes definitely even the uh, medium of e-commerce is booming right now so all that you are doing that is the graphic designing part and all the um, sports that they are playing online nowadays so gaming is a huge industry and for that gaming you need a lot of creative people to create those games so there is a huge industry out there which needs creative people and your many of them can go if if creativity is their passion okay so now you have started on your journey as a free as a graphic designer okay yes. so you are doing graphic designing and you are doing freelancing hmm okay. yes what is your job like graphic designing what does it entail what do you do so my designation like on paper it is user experience designer but it mm-hmm. actually has the job roles of being a researcher being a website designer designing the ui for that website the interface of that website and mm-hmm. the visuals of that website so it it's quite a extensive field and you could do anything that you want in it like whatever you feel that you're good at you could mm-hmm. explore the possibilities okay so now when i am using one of the websites and i have a very good experience the website looks very sleek very good color brand colors are there and uh, i have a good user experience i have to thank graphic designers like you who have made my experience so much better and of course covid time when we all are inside uh, online platforms are what that is keeping us you know connected getting our essentials and everything we are doing it online so these are the graphic designers who work to make our experience a better one that's that's great now nikita i should definitely ask you one question that throughout your school life you were good that's why you went for engineering 
your passion was art you kept on drawing did you have any experience where someone came up to you and said that yeah hey, you are very good in drawing why don't you pursue it did you have any such experiences while you were doing your 10th 12th or graduation yes so when i started this instagram account right so back then the algorithm was pretty easy and it had a lot of access to everybody so actually mm-hmm. some bollywood celebrities hollywood celebrities they started mm-hmm. noticing my work so mm-hmm. uh, actresses like eliana de cruz ritesh deshmukh they saw my work so it was mm-hmm. really um, accessible to everybody so mm-hmm. one uh, international uh, dj named miss tara she mm-hmm. saw my work and she just messaged me that hey i really love your work and that motivated me to like make her own sketch i sketched her mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she gave me free passes to her uh, set so she had a dj set uh, coming up in mumbai mm-hmm. and nagpur so she gave me the passes for those and she asked mm-hmm. me to meet her backstage so when okay. i went and you know gave her those things that okay i've made this for you so she said me that hey you're actually good at this what are you doing uh, you could actually mm-hmm. make a career out of this <laughs> so okay. yeah that was nice. so these experiences see he this is when you were in your second or third standard uh, second or third year sorry yeah. not yeah. Third. <laughs> second yeah. or third year okay okay uh, so i think third year third or fourth year third, third or fourth year so see you were getting validation here i want to ask what was it that was holding you back when you are getting validation from people saying that hey you are good at it why don't you make this as a career why did you not think of that as a career i actually did not believe in myself in a way that okay this is going to fetch me a stable income or i could actually make a strong career out of it because mm-hmm. uh, like then i only knew that okay you go to a company you start off as a software designer like software developer and then you know you become manager lead all of those things so i i, I knew the that path but i did not know that if i could take this unconventional path i could actually do something out of it so basically lack of knowledge and ba- yes. lack of belief yes even when someone of an international standard is coming and telling you your work is good you did not believe in yourself that you were good what was that one moment that made you believe yes i can follow this path so when i started working for scots and i was doing all of this for them even then as the company grew people started knowing me for my work so they used to call me nikita doodles like whenever i used to go out they like hey you are nikita doodles right so mm-hmm. that kind of triggered that okay hey this is actually nice and i could actually make something out of it something so that out. triggered me what are the skills needed in this field so in this field you need a lot of creativity you need to be compassionate and you also need to have good communication skills because you have to deal with a lot of clients so in my work it's almost 50% of designing and it's 50% of communicating what your designs mean to the stakeholders or clients mm-hmm. so you and you have to be compassionate to understand what they actually need or what they actually want and you have to be a mm-hmm. good observer as well so you can observe people their style mm-hmm. so first is your creativity your compassion your communication and observation skills observation skills yes these these are the skills okay yes who has inspired you most in this journey so i think the all the ladies around me have inspired me and made me who i am today so my mother my aunts my teachers everybody mm-hmm. all the ladies so they were the all the ladies know. yeah and now it's my mom and dad so yeah she's amazing so she's yeah amazing. yeah she is she is so they have all uh, tell me being a working woman how important is it to have help around you it is important to have help because you cannot actually be physically present at all times doing thousand different things because you have to attend to other things as well so it is absolutely important to have a good amount of support at least from your family members or some external help if needed to get some things done so that you don't get burnt out because if you are in a creative field you have to be active you have to be on your toes and mm-hmm. not be mentally burnt out or physically burnt out uh, in a way that you cannot give your best to the job so there is no harm in asking for help it is good that you concentrate on your work and uh, you know you can 
get help from others to get the other work done. The work done. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. Hmm. And uh, one question is that internet has changed in the way we would look at internet in 2020 and 2021. Yes. How has internet helped you? Internet has played a huge part in my entire job profile because most of the things that I do are online. The fitness thing is online. Uh, my Instagram art account is online. So through that, I get leads. I, through that, I get clients. And through that, I can reach out to you know a huge audience, which I couldn't have possibly um, achieved if it was just an offline thing. So you have to be active on social media. You have to put your best self out there. And mm -hmm. that's how you can actually reach out to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So because you are doing the things online, you don't have to travel. You don't have to spend time. You are actually able to do a lot more by not going. Yes. But for, by being for the people who want to talk to you, but not physically going. That has given you a lot of time to do and juggle all the work. And though the world is in a lockdown phase, since you are working online, your work is continuing. So that that is uh, one great advantage of working online. You can work from home. So, in your case, I will say failure was bad, good for you. Yes. Today, if you had not failed in your job, you would not look to do something beyond that. So, those who are out there listening to this story, if you fail, it is okay. From that failure, what is important is start searching what more can you do. Definitely, you will get your passion and definitely you will get your path. Because when you start searching, path appears. Till you are not searching, it won't appear. So now you are a graphic designer, you are a fitness expert, you are freelancing and you are married. So <laughs> yes. tell me, after doing so many things, which is the toughest role of all? Which role is Yes. I don't actually find any of those stuff because all of those things I absolutely love. love. I love drawing. I love mm -hmm. training people. I love com like communicating with them so much. And mm -hmm. being married to your best friend. I mean, what else do you want? So I think everything is pretty chill in my life at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That is what we want. That is what makes your journey so interesting. That today you are getting up early in the morning to do various jobs throughout the day. And I'm pretty sure you won't have even a moment to sit and spare. Just, but at the end of the day, you're very happy. You're doing everything, very busy, earning money, very happy. That is what a successful life should be like. Now some pretty quick questions, not heavy ones, very easy <laughs> and lovely questions. Okay. Now tell me, one funny incident in school, your lower okay. batch to remember, I, I know, <laughs> very naughty batch, yeah, a very lovely batch. So, <laughs> one funny incident. There are a lot many funny incidents, but there's this one incident where I uh, was in a dance competition and I had this partner to dance with and we were doing Bollywood Bhangra, so it was not Bhangra Bhangra, but it was more like mm -hmm. Bollywood dance and mm -hmm. we had a step where you have to like rotate around each other or something like that and he was wearing this lungi right and in between the dance sequence his lungi fell off <laughs> he had to run to the room to like get it fixed and I was just dancing alone like this <laughs> school life school life incidents yeah okay what do you miss most about school I miss the annual functions, I miss the assembly, I mean something as simple as assembly, I miss it so much because we had like participation in it, so I think I miss that a lot. Assembly the library. was library, yes. yes. How many books did you read of the library? I think I reached a point where I had to tell the librarian, the ma'am, that ma'am we need more books, can we get more books, it was crazy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is one child who started uh, reading books at a very young age and she continued reading. So that is somewhere I absolutely loved her because she reads books because I also <laughs> love reading books. 
and when my students do so i am very much happy with them okay tell me one thing which you did as a child and you want your children to do when they are growing up i read books Read that's books. that's what i want them to do <laughs> yes books yeah because i think it opens up your imagination and creativity in a whole different way because mm-hmm. i think wherever i am now is because of what i did as a child so as a child i used to draw a lot and that used to come out because i used to read these books you know which had fairies princesses this or that and i used to draw these out so i think that really helped me and i think it it can really help your creativity to go Very to another good. level mm-hmm. yes So Nikita's all uh, notebooks would have these lovely doodles where there were uh, ladies with beautiful gowns. She had this obsession of drawing beautiful ladies with beautiful gowns, and they had all bright colors. And I'm sure that now also whatever you were doing, whatever you were posting, I see a lot of color in it, and that's the reason why I love. Definitely, her art has matured over the years. what she used to do in school was something which she used to just imagine and now she has learned the craft of it of how to craft a beautiful thing so it was absolute delight to talk to you nikita and i am hoping okay one question i didn't ask you where do you see yourself in the future oh so if 5 years ago you would have asked me that You, would you be doing this i would have had no answer but at this point i know that in the future i would definitely be in this creative field i could be designing websites i could be designing applications i could be designing like a logo branding identity packaging the possibilities are endless in this field. so i think i yeah. just go with the flow and see where it takes me yeah but i dream of you you know you were designing sets for hollywood or bollywood <laughs> or you know some could be great some could e-commerce be. site because students are uh, your friends are uh, starting up with e-commerce so yeah. maybe you are designing that uh, you have already designed one logo yeah yes. you have designed the cards marriage cards you have designed beautiful cards so definitely you will be going a very long way and it was an absolute delight to connect with you diketa I hope all of you loved this interview as much as I did to talk to her and if you have come to this part of the video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button I will be linking Nikita's handle below please go and if you want to learn english the way Nikita is speaking then there is a link to my webinar go and join my webinar to learn english the way my students speak thank you bye bye god bless thank you ma'am bye bye